One of the things which is important for you too, once you've done all the preparation work, you've done your job spec, you've done your person profile, you've looked at them essential desirable, you've asked all your questions, you've done all your tests, and at some stage in the interview process, before you say somebody's ready uh, for the second interview or giving them a job or consider them a bunch of candidates, you've got to assess them effectively. And one of the things which I always encourage people to do is use the interview feedback form. Now, there's a copy of it in the booklet. And that interview feedback form sets out all the broad criteria you're looking for for the role, breaks it down, and we use a scoring criteria which is O for outstanding, V for very good, G for good, A for average, P for poor. Now, whatever criteria, one to four, A to Z, one to six, A to C, whatever criteria you have, you've got to be able to look at the the uh, scoring criteria, you've got to look at what you are looking for and be able to say, is that, does that person pass that level? Now, if it was, say, on this one, you've got team working, you might say somebody was very good on team working. And in the box on the bottom of the feedback form, you should be able to say, I would consider this person as a excellent team player because they demonstrated to me within the team they had responsibility for managing the team when the manager was on various duties, meetings, or on holiday, and obviously organising the work schedules, but also looking at the responsibility for managing the, the nights out with the team to ensure good team building and responsibilities for there. So what you do is, when you're actually going to grade somebody on something, set out on a feedback form what are called evidentially based observations criteria. So whatever you write on there has to have some form of evidence, what the person did, what they showed you. So that when you go back to it, if you ever have to justify your decision, you can say, well, I gave them the job because they were very good on this, 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 and this, and they demonstrated that on the yeah. job. It just means that you're, you, know, you are looking for the things which you set out in the plan in the first place. You're not just sort of planning it and then putting it aside and then just seeing what happens. You're actually thinking it through in terms of selection criteria. And when you've got selection criteria, that's the best form of interviewing you can have. Because you get better at it, because then you start to recognise that when you have those particular indicators of um, job skills, a person profile, a person gives you that, then you can say that's part of the evidence, evidence um, uh, element of my feedback or my decision making at the end of the day. When anybody questions you, you can say, this is the reason why. Also good, if somebody rings you up afterwards and, you, and they're asking you, you know, how did I do on my job? And the actual, you have to give them the feedback that they didn't get the job. Yeah. Always start with a positive. Always say, look, on these areas, you were, I marked you outstanding and very good because what you said in the interview, you demonstrated this, you're able to do that. It's just that the, good, the job was given to somebody who actually had more outstanding features on these areas. And it was a close call thing, but uh, at the end of the day, we had we made the choice on somebody with more experience in this area, and that's sort of thing, the differentiation between the two. But you're an extremely able candidate, and good luck in your next role. That way, you're, you're able to, you know, at yeah. least say to somebody, let them down. And it's oh, it's good for somebody to be able to, if they do ring you up, and be able to go back to, you know, put the phone down, or speak to somebody else, and go, yeah. you know, I almost got the job. It's just like that. Somebody else, just a little bit more experience. Yeah. That way, they'll still look at you in good light, and they reply back to you. See, the worst thing you can do is interview somebody and not let no, it's, yeah. it's a bit, well, it's a bit, they built it up to that point of coming to the interview and yeah. they don't hear anything. No. Um, and even if somebody does question you, whatever you write down, by the way, it should be evidentially based because you don't want to write subjective comments, you don't want to write jokes or anything like that because they have a right to see it for data protection. But make sure that, you know, at the end of the day, you have an interview feedback form which you can use to make your selection.